and today in this video we will be seeing the concept of permutation and combination for circular arrangements okay and we will also be solving a few questions on circular arrangements now let's start with the concept of circular arrangements now so let's say let's say for example i have four people in a linear arrangement okay i have four people in a linear arrangement let's say a b c and d i am asking you in how many ways can i arrange these four people okay in how many ways can i arrange these four people so i have four people and i have four positions so four people can be arranged in 4p4 ways which is nothing but four factorial ways okay so this is the answer which is four factorial for a linear arrangement but what if it's a circular arrangement okay let's say i have a circle okay and i have four positions these are the four positions and again i have four people a b c d now the question is in how many ways can i arrange these four people in these four positions okay in how many ways can i do that let's understand by using an example suppose if i tell you let's say this is my circular table okay i have four positions 1 2 3 and 4 i have four positions this this is my circular table i ask you where do you want to sit okay let's say you decide that you're going to sit at this position this is the position where you're going to sit okay now what do i do i rotate my table okay i rotate my table how many times i don't know now i ask you do you remember your position whether it was position number 1 2 3 4 do you remember you cannot remember why because these four are identical positions okay see i understand you had decided that you are going to sit at one of the positions okay let's say here i rotated the table but now you don't know which chair were you talking about was it 1 was it 2 was it 3 was it 4 you cannot comment because these are four identical positions so that is the reason the first person can be placed in only one way there is only one way in which first person can be placed why because all the four are identical positions you cannot identify which location is what kaun si location kaun si thi aap kahan baithne wale the aap decide nahi kar sakte because they are four same positions now let's say i place the first person let's say you decide that this is the position where you are going to sit let's say this is the position and this is fixed okay this is fixed you are going to sit here this is the pink one now i am going to place the second person suppose a is seated let's say a decided to sit here now i am asking b where do you want to sit now b so b can sit to a's left a's right or a ke opposite way there are three positions theek hai now what do i do i rotate the table again theek hai i rotate the table again first i asked b where do you want to sit तो ही सेड मुझे ए के ऑपोजिट पे बैठना है आई वॉन्ट सेट ऑपोजिट टू ए नाउ आई रोटेटेड माई टेबल ठीक है नाउ सपोज दिस इज वॉट माई टेबल लुक्स लाइक नाउ आई आस्क बी डू यू रिमेंबर योअर पोजिशन विल ही रिमेंबर ऑफकोर्स ही विल रिमेंबर बिकॉज ए इज सिटिंग हियर ए इज सिटिंग हियर ही सेड मुझे ए के ऑपोजिट पे बैठना है सो इफ दिस इज ए दिस इज द ऑपोजिट पोजिशन सो ही कूड आइडेंटिफाई ए इज लेफ्ट he could identify as a is right he could identify a is opposite also so there were three different positions even if you rotated the table you could understand where a wants where b wants to sit so that means the second person has three ways did you understand because he could identify ki a ke left mein baithna hai a ke right mein baithna hai ya a ke opposite mein baithna hai even if you rotated the table you could still identify where he wants to sit he could identify his position so suppose b decided he is going to sit at the opposite position theek hai so let's say i place b here suppose this is my b and i place him at opposite of a theek hai so this is my b who is sitting opposite of a theek hai now i have two positions remaining a ka left a ka right 
ठीक है दिस इज फ्रॉम माई पर्स्पेक्टिव ओके ए का सॉरी ए का लेफ्ट एंड ए का राइट देर आर टू पोजिशन नाउ आई आज द थर्ड पर्सन नाउ आई आज सी वेर डू यू वॉन्ट टू सेट लेट से ही सेज आई वॉन्ट टू सेट ए के लेफ्ट में ठीक है वॉट डू आई डू आई रोटेट द टेबल अगेन ठीक है आई रोटेट द टेबल अगेन सपोज दिस इज वॉट माई टेबल लुक्स लाइक ठीक है ना आई आज सी अगेन डू यू रिमेंबर योअर पोजिशन वॉट डिड ही से आई वॉन्ट टू सेट ए के लेफ्ट में एंड आई नो ए का लेफ्ट इज गोइंग टू बी दिस साइड He could sit A K left me also. He could sit A K right me also. He decided he is going to sit A K left me. So he had two different options. So that means the third person can be placed in two ways. So he decided, let's say I am going to sit to A's left. So what did he do? He got placed here. He got placed A K left me. Okay, this is suppose A K left where. C is sitting. One second. Let's say this is the position. Okay. This is where C is sitting. Now, how many positions are remaining for D? Three are blocked. There is only one position remaining, so D has to be seated here only. Correct. So that means your fourth person has only one way. So I had to place how many people? I had to place four people. and there are number of ways will be 1 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this is nothing but 3 factorial because that is 3 into 2 into 1 so four people can be seated in three factorial ways theek okay? hai similarly if it's an n factor n people suppose if i have n people theek okay? hai so n people can be placed in n minus 1 factorial ways in a circular arrangement for a linear n people had n factorial ways but for a circular n people have n minus 1 factorial ways so this is how you can remember now let's look at a few questions see the first one in how many ways can six people be seated around a circular table ठीक है सिक्स पीपल लाइक वी सो सिक्स पीपल विल बी सीटेड इन सिक्स माइनस वन विच इज फाइव फैक्टोरियल वेज फाइव फैक्टोरियल इज वॉट वन ट्वेंटी वेज सो दिस बिकम्स योर आंसर सिंपल क्वेश्चन सिक्स पीपल फाइव फैक्टोरियल एन पीपल एन माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल सी द सेकेंड वन इन हाउ मेनी वेज कैन ए टू ई बी सीटेड इन अ राउंड टेबल First question: If B and D should be together, B and D should be together. So let's say, and I understand you have five people. Let's say A, B, D, C, E. Correct? A, B, D, C, E. Now why am I considering B and D together? Because they have to be seated together. So what do we do? We'll consider them to be only one person. So why do we consider them to be only one person? You can have a look in the previous videos as well. So whoever wants to be together, we combine them, consider them as only one person. Now how many people do I have? One, two, three, four. Okay, I have four people. So four people can be placed in four minus one, which is three factorial ways. So three factorial is nothing but six ways. but this is not my answer why because dekho i am considering b to be here d to be here but i can also have d here and b here you can interchange those two also so b and d can be interchanged and written as d and b also theek hai so i will multiply this value which is 6 by two ways why because b d or d b everywhere so my total number of ways will be 12 ways theek okay? hai my total number of ways is 12 ways so this is the answer for the first question now what are they saying about the next one what are they saying about the next one they are saying c and e shouldn't be together theek okay? hai c and e shouldn't be together what do we do first we will consider the total cases total cases kitna aayega i have five people Five people can be placed in five minus one, which is four factorial ways. So that is twenty-four ways. 
They are saying C and E shouldn't be together. I will find out the case where C and E are together. C and E are together. Can I say the answer will be 12 ways? यहाँ पे क्या बोला था? B and D have to be together. Now instead of B and D, you will just combine C and E and consider them to be only one person. Instead of B and D, you will combine C and E. That's eight. The remaining process is going to be the same. So if C and E are together, that will be twelve ways. ठीक है? I want C and E shouldn't be together. They shouldn't be together. So what will I do? Twenty four में से I will subtract twelve. So my answer will be 12 ways. So in these 12 ways, C and E are not going to be together. Total may say together ka cases subtract kar diya, I will have not together wala cases. So this is my answer for the third question. Now let's look at one more question. What does it say? In how many ways can three men and three ladies be seated together if no two women are to be seated together. Three men and three ladies are to be seated together, keeping in mind no two women or no two ladies are to be seated together. Now what do we do? See, who can be placed together? Two men can come together, but two women cannot come together. So let's place the men first. Okay? Suppose I placed these are the three positions. One, two, three. I'm going to place three men at these three positions, right? But we know three men can be placed in three minus one, which is two factorial ways. Why? Because it's a circular table. So there are only two ways, right? Two ways. Now suppose I place the men. Okay, I place the men. Let's say man one, man two, man three. I place the men. Now, how many options do women have? See, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Why? Because two women cannot come together. No two women cannot can come together. No two women can come together means none of the women can be together. Two women cannot come together. Three women also cannot uh, come together. None of the women should come together. So, unke beech mein there should be at least one man. Okay? This is what it means. Now, understand. If I ask you, women one, woman one has how many options? She can be she can be seated here. She can be seated here. She can be seated here. Now understand, three women will not have two factorial ways here, because these are three different positions. You have already placed the men. Men are already seated here. So woman one can sit between man one, man two. She can sit between man two, man three. She can sit between man three, man one. So she has three different positions. So woman one has three ways. Understand? Woman one has three ways. Let's say woman one comes here. Now woman two obviously has two ways. There are two different ways. So let's say woman two comes here. So she has two ways. So woman three has to come here only. So woman three has only one way. So the three women can be placed in 3 factorial, 3 into 2 into 1, which is 3 factorial ways, which is 6 ways. Did you understand why 3 women will have 6 ways? Because she can identify 3 different positions. Even if you rotate the table, she will still be able to identify that whether she wants to sit between man 1, man 2, man 2, man 3, yeah, man 3, man 1. Okay? So I have to place the men and the women. Men and the ladies. Men ka ways tha 2. Women ka ways hai 6. So my total number of ways become 12 ways. So this is my answer. So in this video, we have seen the concept of permutation and combination for circular arrangements. And also solved a few questions on that. So I hope your concept is clear as far as PNC circular arrangements is concerned. In the next video, we are going to see the very famous problem called as the necklace problem. So you can refer to that video after going through this video so that your concept is clear. And if you want, to, if you want me to make videos on certain specific topics, please do mention in the comment section below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much.